welcome back to Epigee's YouTube channel. Today's demonstration is on the Quadro User Management Interface. This video is part of a series that will cover software applications designed by Epigee. We will show users how to access their own management screen from the internet. Now, let's take a look. First, let's open the internet browser on your computer and then type in your specified IP address that corresponds to your Quadro within the network. Then type in your extension number and password to access the main screen. This is the home page where you can see your extension, any outstanding or saved voicemails, and how much free voicemail space you have remaining. You can also select voicemails for deletion, as well as mark them for importance to view later on. During this video, we are going to go through the tabs at the top left-hand corner of your page. Let's first start out with the main tab. Here, you can return to the home page, look at a list of feature codes, get help, and log out of the system. We are only going to highlight the most important features, so for all other questions, refer to this help section. The next tab is voicemail. Under voicemail settings, you are able to view and edit all the features. For instance, changing the maximum mail message duration. This feature allows you to set a limit on how long of a voicemail a caller can leave on your phone. The unlimited option allows voice messages to be recorded as long as the user's mailbox has space. When looking at the table below, the difference between the first and second checkboxes on the left hand side is the location. The first one is your office access and the second is if you have a cell phone attached to your extension which is what we mean by remote access. To access your voicemail, a password can be set up for both locations. It is completely up to you. The Play Voicemail Help option plays voicemail help instructions to the user when entering the voicemail box. This option guides the user on how to move through the mailbox, play, and delete the voicemails, as well as to modify your greetings. The Automatically Play Messages feature will auto-play all voicemails. Whenever entering the voicemail box, the system will sequentially play the date and time when the message was received, followed by the voicemail. The Send New Voice Message via Email and Fax options allow a new voicemail message to be emailed or faxed as a file to the defined recipients. Voice files will be automatically converted to WAV format before being attached to the email, and the fax attachments are sent using the PDF format. In the Email Address option, you can put one or more email addresses for those people that you wish to receive those voicemails. Just use a space, comma, or semicolon to separate the mailing addresses in the text field. The Remove Voicemail or Fax on Send option can be enabled so that these messages will be removed from the main voicemail box on the home page after the WAV file or PDF file was sent. You can also have a new voice message alert sent to your cell phone via SMS. The Zero Out feature allows the caller to be redirected to the number that is listed. This could be an additional work number cell phone number, etc. The Enable Out of Office checkbox allows you to activate an out of office message which acts as an optional voicemail greeting message when the user is out of the office. The greeting can be recorded and uploaded or a default greeting can be played. Please make sure that if you are making any changes to the settings that you click save at the bottom of the page before you move on. Now, go back up to the top of the page and click the Your Extensions tab, and then select the Call Statistics link. Here, you will be able to see a time-stamped list of all outgoing calls under Successful Calls, or view all of your missed calls under Missed Calls. In the Account Settings option, 
You can change your display name that will appear on the internal office handsets and you can also change your password. Finally, let's take a look at the Supplementary Services tab where we will see more advanced options. Some of these options include many extension ringing, call forwarding, and find me, follow me. And that's a quick look at the Quadro user management interface. If you have any questions, just click help. Thanks for tuning in to Epigee's YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed today's presentation on the Quadro user management interface. Don't forget to socialize with Epigee on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and of course, stay tuned on YouTube. For more information, please contact us at sales at Thanks for watching.